study, we uh, set out to address the reproducibility of uh, several quantitative uh, brain technologies at 3 Tesla. Um, reproducibility is defined as the, the extent to which repeated measurements on the same subject are in agreement. And uh, it's important to uh, determine because you can use it to classify uh, what tissue values are uh, normal or abnormal. And uh, for example, um, uh, we are interested in, uh, in uh, epilepsy. So uh, we want to know whether or uh, values we find in epilepsy patients um, are uh, uh, abnormal. So the value should uh, uh, have a bigger deviation from normal uh, values uh, than the reproducibility. Uh, the aim of the study was to address the reproducibility of several uh, methods, namely the T2 relaxometry, which is uh, indicative of uh, water content, uh, diffusion tensor imaging. Uh, this method yields uh, an ADC, which is uh, a measure for the molecular motion, and a fractional anisotropy, which uh, indicates uh, what the preferable direction is of water to move. Uh, furthermore, we did uh, chemical shift imaging, and this um, is a window on cell met metabolism. Um, so for this study, we included 10 healthy subjects, and those who can twice at the uh, 3 Tesla. And uh, on this uh, slide, I've indicated uh, where we placed our spectroscopic imaging uh, voxels. So one on the left is uh, for the hippocampal region, and the black box indicates the press box uh, that um, is used for shimming and for uh, water suppression. And the same um, uh, on, the, on the right, you can see the, the voxel that is placed in the frontal lobe. Uh, these are typical results we uh, got from this uh, study. Um, these are normalized images. Uh, so we got the T1 weighted one on the left. Uh, we ca calculated from the T2 relaxometry a T2 map. Uh, from that we could also uh, get a, a CSF map. So for each pixel you can get the amount of CSF that's present on that location. From the TTI we got an ADC and an FA map. So um, when you are looking at reproducibility, there are, there are several uh, uh, manners to uh, do st uh, statistics. So we um, actually we, we've um, calculated three of the common used uh, reproducibility statistics. Um, two main important uh, values to assess are the standard deviation within the subjects and the standard deviation between subjects. From the standard deviation within subjects, you can calculate the intervariance variation, uh, which is a relative measure. Also, you can um, determine the rep repeatability coefficient, which is the minimum detectable quanti quantitative difference. Uh, those were uh, according to uh, uh, Blant and Altman. Furthermore, we uh, calculated the interclass correlation, which is the fraction of the true biologic uh, variation of the total variance. And this was done according to Tofts. Um, the pipeline, uh, so if we first measured on the left uh, each subject uh, twice, then those data were normal to uh, standard brain coordinates. Uh, we, those were smoothed with a kernel of uh, six millimeters, and then we calculated all these statistics uh, per pixel, so you get a yeah, map of, the, of all these statistics, and then we um, averaged uh, those statistics per region that were interesting for interest of us, uh, so the, the frontal lobe and the troll lobe. Furthermore, we, uh, we were not interested in the reproducibility statistics of uh, CSF, so therefore we corrected uh, these regions for our CSF contribution, and the CSF that was uh, derived from the T2 map. So these are the results. Um, it's quite a lot of data, but uh, this, I would want to stress out that uh, the, the measures we obtained for the T2 and the ADC and FA and for the consumption of metabolites were all in the, within the expected range. So we we knew that um, we were measuring, yeah, that our methods worked. And um, in 
and then create the measures for the coefficient of variation and repeatability coefficient. These should be as low as possible because you want to, yeah, to detect uh, subtle changes. And the ICC should be is, is between 0 and 1, and ideally it should be higher than 0.8. So um, not all of the measures are above 0.8, and even some, especially in the spectroscopy uh, from the temporal lobe, are pretty low, but I will address that later. Um, we also did a comparison of our data with um, previous literature where they did assess the reproducibility at 1.5 tesla. Um, it's a little bit tricky to uh, compare this data because uh, we didn't use exactly the same uh, methods. However, yeah, when, you, when you quickly look at the literature, you can see that most of our uh, obtained values for the coefficient of variation are lower than found uh, at 1.5 tesla by others. However, we, we can see that uh, yeah, Pfefferbaum et al. Uh, did this study at 1.5 Tesla. And they um, uh, had a lower digital, lower uh, CV in the corpus callosum, but all the other ones are yeah, lower. So uh, in this uh, slide, I have um, overlaid uh, a map of the coefficient of variation, and this is thresholded. So I only display the um, voxels that display the worst uh, repeatability um, uh, co uh, characteristics, and those are overlaid on a normalized T1-weighted image. So um, on the left, you see a um, lot bright spot for the T2 uh, measurement, and most of the T these uh, spots are close to um, CSF regions. So um, yeah, the, our T2 measurement is not uh, optimized uh, for a determination of uh, the T2 of the CSF. We are only interested in the parenchyme. So we, we can explain that. Furthermore, for the ADC and FA, you see uh, similar uh, uh, data. Uh, there are two um, different kind of spots. Uh, on the, with the yellow bars, you see again uh, uh, regions with worse reproducibility characteristics that are due to uh, CZF con uh, contribution. And with, with red uh, markers, you can see also here uh, regions that, are, uh, yeah, that have worse reproducibility characteristics. Uh, we also did this for uh, spectroscope viewing. Uh, the data was an anal analyzed uh, using LC model, and LC model uh, gives uh, indication of the quality of the data. And um, so I indicated with white crosses the voxels that did not fulfill the qual quality ana analysis of uh, LC model. Um, and what you can see is that um, yeah, the most voxels that were rejected are in the temporal lobe and the frontal lobe. As, yeah, is, is better. So, um, for the, first of all, why is the reproducibility of the frontal lobe better than the temporal lobe? This is because the temporal lobe uh, suffers from uh, P0 in, in homogeneity uh, due to um, the tissue bone interfaces that are nearby. Uh, furthermore, we uh, noticed that uh, there are the, the brain regions that are close to uh, CSF uh, containing space, spaces uh, have large coefficient of variation. That's probably due to the var variable size of uh, CSF compartments throughout the uh, population we uh, studied. And uh, we also noted that um, there's a large coefficient of variation in the basal ganglia. And we hypothesized that this has to do with uh, iron, and iron induces uh, susceptibility artifacts, and apparently um, these uh, susceptibility artifacts are not, at least in the methods we use, are not uh, really reproducible, uh, probably because of the positioning of the, of the head. Um, is when it's slightly tilted with respect to the first uh, session, it uh, induces yeah, large artifacts. Uh, furthermore, we, uh, especially for the spectroscopy, we, uh, yeah, we saw low uh, intraocular correlations. Um, however, we are we are studying a healthy volunteer group, and due to the yeah the homogeneity within this population, uh, the ICCs you will get are typically low. 
So uh, our conclusion is that uh, reproducibility at three Tesla seems to be better, or at least comparable uh, to uh, reproducibility studies at 1.5 Tesla. Um, this probably is due to the improved signal-to-noise ratio, and uh, the increased inhomogeneities uh, apparently don't have that large effect. And this work has uh, now been published um, in the latest issue of uh, investigative radiology. Thank you for your attention.